Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome to World of Warcraft Wrath of the Lich King Classic and our Tauren Warrior. Today is the day that I'm going to take my warrior and uh, we'll have his first steps into the Northrend content. We are already here at the Warsong Hold and ready to kick things off. We are going to be going protection spec. <laughs> while we level up for a little while. Pretty soon we'll have enough gold to get dual spec. But yeah, this is what we're doing today, guys. Thank you for joining me. I really do appreciate you clicking on the video and choosing to spend some of your time here in Azeroth with me. We've been leveling up our human paladin and while I should probably be focusing in really hard on her, sometimes I just need to do something a little bit different in the game to keep things fresh. So I thought today would be a good day to take our warrior in Get him a little bit of questing gear, maybe eventually get him into a dungeon run or two to see how tanking on the warrior compares to tanking on the paladin. Loktar. Hellscream's Vigil. Thram Ka Torin, welcome to Warsong Hold. My heart swells with pride to see that such a distinguished hero of the Horde has answered the call of duty. This impregnable fortress is a testament to the tenacity of the Horde. Through, through much we have battled to establish this foothold in Northrend. It is from here that our journey to Ice Crown begins, and it is through the leadership of the Son of Hellscream that we will succeed. Garrosh awaits your arrival below. Strength. That's right, this is when Garrosh really like starts to become a, a central character in the story arc, and then things go the way they did for him, which is unfortunate. We, we could really use a repair to start things off right here, but I don't think any of these guys are going to repair our stuff. He is below. What are the odds that the repair person is below as well? Inventory is clean. We, sh we should be good there. My quest log... My quest log could be cleaned up a little bit. Let's do this and this. There we go. Perfect. Okay, repairs are down here. Definitely the intended way down. Um, here, blacksmith. And there's Sourfang. Looking uh, a little bit different than we know him today. Uh, we interrupted a little bit of roleplay. Your father's blood runs strong in you, Hellscream. Impatient as always. Impatient and reckless. You rush headlong into all-out war without thought of the consequences. Do not speak to me of consequences, old one. I drank from the same blood your father did, Garrosh. Manoroth's curse, venom, pumped through my veins as well. I drove my weapons into the bodies and minds of my enemies. You drove your weapons into their minds? And while Grom died a glorious death, freeing all of us from the blood curse, he could not wipe away the terrible memory of our past. His act could not erase the horrors we committed. The winter after the curse was lifted, hundreds of veteran orcs like me were lost to despair. Our minds were finally free, yes, free to relive all of the unthinkable acts that we had performed under the Legion's influence. I think it was the sounds of the Draenei children that unnerved most of them. You never forget. Have you ever been a jagged swine farm? When the swine are of age for the slaughter, it's that sound. The sound of swine being killed. It resonates the loudest. Those are hard times for us old veterans. But surely you cannot think that those children were born into innocence. They would have grown up and taken arms against us. I am not speaking solely of the children of our enemies. I won't let you take us down that dark path again, young Hellscream. I'll kill you myself before that day comes. Damn. Some of their best dialogue and their best character interactions they handle like this. 
How have you managed to survive for so long, Sourfang, and not fallen victim to your own memories? I don't eat pork. <laughs> Some of their best character interactions and their best dialogue are in these stay a while and listen segments. And that is a damn shame because that was good writing. It's a good little backstory for Sourfang and really sets the tone between these characters. But you can easily grab these quests and you run away and you never see it. You never see it. And it's a shame because it, it like it wastes that great story and that great lore. All right, so, so. let's get into things here. The raising of Orgrimmar was not just an act against the orcs; it was an affront to the horde, an assault against our very existence. The Lich King sought to sow the seeds of fear. This Garrosh points to the fortified walls that surround him. This is the result of Arthas's campaign. The horde fears nothing. A hero of the horde, huh? Garrosh sniffs the, at the air around you. Fear. Garrosh spits. You won't last long. Oh, good. Fear has always been our greatest weapon. Entire wars have been won and lost upon the shifting shoulders of trepidation and doubt. So how, then, does one fight an enemy that knows no fear? Sarfrank shakes his head. We do not fight the Scourge in Northrend. We fight to gain control of our senses before they tear us apart. Do not let Hellscream dissuade you from your duties as a soldier of the Horde Torrent. He bears a terrible burden in these frozen wastes, with the outcome of his charge resulting in victory over the Scourge or the extinction of all life on Azeroth. It is for this reason that we require your strength and wisdom. The Scourge have begun their assault upon this fortress. Our soldiers steady the line, but are in desperate need of backup. Report to Razgar. He is stationed directly outside of Warsong Hold. Alright, very cool so far. I like Sourfang a lot as a character. Let's go ahead and be really and you, uh... super smart and bind our Hearthstone here. That'll do. And let's take our first peek into Borean Tundra as the Horde side. That's right, we start off in this quarry. Which is where I'm assuming they got the stone to build the fortress and stuff like that. Just in time, the Nerubians have seemingly doubled in number in just a week's time. We could use all the help we can get out here. While Warsong Hold is protected by 10 feet of steel and stone on all sides, this quarry is soft and primed for attack by the Nerubians. Razgor points west. Beyond the quarry stand thousands of Scourge awaiting the orders to attack. Should the Nerubians take down our inner defenses, we will be overrun and the undead legions of Arthas are by the undead legions of Arthas. We can't let that happen, which is why you're going to go on the offensive and slaughter the Nerubians in the quarry. Blood and Thunder Soldier, take them both with you. Go forth to victory. All right, uh, let's see if we can remember how to play the warrior. That would be good. Uh, Quarter Mage Halgosh has a quest. Patience is a virtue that we don't need. We can kill all the Nerubians that we see and destroy all the eggs that we find, but those things won't stop coming until we blow their tunnels and passageways up. Of course, we can't do that without some heavy-grade munitions. Unfortunately, most of our stockpile is being used by the goblins and blacksmiths for our siege tanks and weapons. We do happen to have a pretty good supply of the stuff out in Mightstone Quarry, underneath all the Nerubian crap. You just have to go out there and get it for me. Strength. Peons, we may as well post up a sign offering the Nerubar a free meal. See, the problem with a peon is that one, they're dumber than dirt, and two, they're weaker than a le leper gnome. Of course, they're the first to be taken by the Scourge. This puts me in a bit of a predicament, you see. Without peons, manual labor comes to a halt. No peons, no construction. And find and release my peons, Torrin. If they're alive, you'll find them spun up and webbing throughout Mightstone Quarry. Uh, we have some stuff maybe to pick up back inside the keep here. Thought we'd grabbed everything, but apparently not. The question is, what part of the keep is it going to be? And one, of, they're they're all below us. Yeah, I feel like most of the quest we're gonna run through this door right here. This is a very interestingly designed horde fortress. 
Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get the hang of it. Blood Our out. Enemies will fall. I told them all I remember. Why don't they believe me? I was gathering herbs by the rift. They came from nowhere. Dark wizards with magical beasts. I was surrounded. A magical box appeared above me, opened up, and pulled me inside. Just as it began to close around me, my rescuer swooped in on the backs of red drakes. Well, we, this is the same dialogue that you get when you talk to like a, ma a gnome mage the is at hand. to go investigate things at the Amber Ledge. What ah, ride to T Tonkle Village. This was the playable race I always wished we would get that we never got back in the day. Torin, the chieftain is making me wait. Time that Tonkla does not have. There have been talk of your prowess. Rather than wait for Garrosh to send help, I ask you to go and help my people. Tonkale village lies far to the northeast. Follow the road east out of the hold, turning north at the intersection. We don't we don't need the directions. We'll find it, buddy. Thanks. Alright, and then more back here. Did you feel it? Saranok momentarily clutches his chest in confusion. His hand comes away, trailing red hot steam. Something terrible has happened to my old friend, Farseer Grimwalker. I just sensed it. He had a pupil that he took with him when he went north. They were going to help the Overlord establish an outpost on the edge of Sholazar Basin. Her name is Snarlfang. She is, is a spirit talker. Perhaps she will know what happened, or at least she can help you find out. Never and uh, that that's it, it looks like. That is it. Let's head out. Eventually here we're going to push some ability buttons, I swear. How that's going to go when we do, uh, I'm not sure. Oh, okay. So I think we have to be in defensive stance still. If I check a few things here... No, this doesn't require, like, stance dancing. Let's, uh, for now, let's set up a, a bar for Battle Shout that makes sense here. This is okay. This still requires battle stance. This just requires shields, requires shields. Okay, let's go... We don't need to stance dance anymore because we can we can charge from oh wait do we not have that ability i thought we could charge from any stance now honestly i thought that was like baseline now that's so weird why did i think that <laughs> oh god this is gonna be miserable then it's gonna be miserable okay yeah we we can only we can only charge from battle stance still. I, I didn't realize that. For some reason I thought they had changed that. Oh jeez. Why? Huh. Okay. Awesome. Uh, we need revenge. Revenge, you know what? We just have to be in defensive stance. All of our abilities, our abilities, a lot of them require us to be in defensive stance. Um, that's really gonna suck, so we still have to start. We have to stand stand still, which I, I really don't want to do. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, I, I think we got it sorted. Um, we should be good with just one, two, that'll flip us into defensive stance and we can go from there. Yeah, for some reason I, I just thought that there was a talent or something we had taken that allowed us to charge from defensive stance, which would be a great quality of life change. But no.
We, we should definitely work on our skinning. We would definitely be better off working on our skinning if we were actually able to get skill ups. That, that's a real thing. Is there not going to be a skinning trainer here? Yeah, apparently I'm going to have to find out where in the world we train the next rank of skinning because I, I kind of thought there would just be some profession trainers here, but apparently not. Uh, we can we can continue to skin, I guess, but yeah, without without being able to train anywhere, that's gonna be kind of a huge problem for us. Yeah, so learning professions, I have to figure out where to learn at first aid, I have to figure out where to learn skinning. Um, I don't know why they wouldn't just put some trainers here in honor hold, it, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make sense to me to have to go back to the old world to learn new professions when in TBC they put the new profession trainers in the new world. So yeah, not, not very happy about that. There's a first aid person here, that's great, we don't have any cloth yet, but... We can learn first aid here, but where in the hell do we learn skinning? Do we have to go back to Ogremar to learn Northrend skinning? That that doesn't make any sense to me. I'll do it if I have to, but uh, yeah, it makes no sense. Zero, zero sense made uh, by that choice. There should just be... I, I like how kind of in retail for the low-level professions, they put one person, you pick what profession you want from a list, and then they train you the, the base rank of it. I feel like that would be like huge for quality of life. And maybe even get more people like into doing professions if it were a little bit easier to learn them, to train them, etc. Uh, having some food to eat in the meantime probably won't be a bad idea. These guys are able to deal a bit of damage to us. We don't really have a good means of getting health back outside of eating or bandaging, so...
This guy is just attacking everything. He wants to fight everything. I wish he would, like, stop and, like, stop sticking us in combat. That'd be cool. Especially since we're done with these guys. Yeah, he's got us in combat with basically everybody. <laughs> We really need some of these guys in here to be peons. go there's five out of five peon so now we just need some crates oh no we need oh is this not updating i don't i don't think questy is updating properly probably needs an update or something Why do we have all these guys? What exactly did we do wrong? Well, without any way to heal, we're, uh, we're bound to die soon. That is a, de a definite thing that's gonna happen. We keep getting more and more enemies on us, it seems. Probably just respawns and stuff from around. Yeah, we need to we need to get out of here. Oh, I haven't used Shockwave at all because yeah, new ability. Um, I don't have any mounts up. I can't mount. I can't mount. So I don't know. <laughs> we we're just gonna sit here until we get attacked again, and then we're gonna die, I guess. Um, we could try to carefully make our way out over here. Again, we're gonna die pretty soon. Uh, I don't have any way to regen health that I that I see right now. Probably should have thought about that before I headed out of the hold. Obviously got way too used to playing a paladin. Yeah, but we, we have to get out of here. Let's try to mount up. And we'll just make a run for it. 
make a run for it and try to get ourselves some some food. That's a mana. <laughs> Don't need that. Trust no. All right, there we go. Let's turn some of these in in case they chain into other quests here in the quarry. Most of them made it back, the one smart enough to know that we're inside the gigantic metal stone building anyway. Regardless, job well done. I hear you sprung more than a couple of loose peons. Oh yes, you're the talk of the, um, fortress. I don't think these are better than what we have. It's more crit strike, but we lose a lot of strength. Aerial reconnaissance of the quarry reports that the Nerubians are storing their eggs on the scaffolding surrounding the base. Smart beasts these are. They're keeping the eggs high and dry away from the epicenter of the conflict. You're going to have to go back out there and track down their eggs, find them and smash them and trash them. And uh, we get weapons from this. I I'm probably going to take a two-hander and I'm probably going to end up respecking uh, Fury. When, when I go back to Orgrimmar to try to figure out where to train Leatherworking, I'm going to respec Fury, and we'll, we'll do prop once we get our dual spec, same as we did on the Paladin. Untold truths. We are here by order of very Matheris. The mission of the Shadowstalkers is a simple one. Spy. Well, spy with a little assassination on the side. One of my best field agents has gone missing. I haven't heard from him in days, which has left me fearing the worst. No, not death. Death would be ideal. I fear he may have gone rogue. Turned traitor, even. His last known location was Northern Mightstone Quarry. He was gathering intelligence on the Nerubians. Find him. He better be dead. <laughs> ah, horde questing. At least they're having fun with it. So the scaffolding is where the eggs are going to be. That's not an egg. That's an egg up there, though. Instant respawns, fun times.
I'd be more interested in skinning everything if we were getting skill ups, so that's mainly why I'm not skinning everything right now. I doubt stuff is going to sell for very much on the auction house because of how inundated the market is going to be with the current mats. Because everybody is going to be getting the current mats, so the market is probably going to be flooded for a while. Alright, there we go. If my calculations are correct and they're not often and they're often not, you're gonna need about 10 to 20 C4 AM depth charges. Oh yeah, you'll be planting these mothers into their sinkholes. North, south, east, and west, those are the locations you should be concerned about. Surrounding this fortress within Mightstone Quarry are four perfectly situated nearbar sinkholes. Be very careful with that package, mishandle it, and you'll be dog meat. Inside the bundle are C4 AM depth charges. Get each of those into a Nurubian sinkhole, plant the depth charge at their center point. If all goes well, the tunnels will collapse. For the whole. Okay. Blood and thunder. And we'll take the greatsword. You're a tough one, Ramblehoof. I think your talents are better suited elsewhere, like the root of the whole damn problem. A thousand scourge, at least four full-size floating death machines, and who knows what else. But you're going to find out, and then you're going to handle it. That's right. You're going to beat the hell out of those Scourge that's currently beating down our door. Get to the top of Warsong Hold and report to Windmaster Tobor. He'll be expecting you. Like a, a bombing run, maybe? I think we're going to go do the sinkholes first. Oh dear, that's a long drop. We're not in combat. Oh, we're in combat now. <laughs> I was hoping maybe we could eat. Let's go ahead and eat now before this guy attacks. Oh, he's healing us. How nice of him. That's amazing. What a bro. Oh, he's, now he's going to run and fight stuff. <laughs> yeah. There he goes. They're putting us in combat as, as one does. Oh.
Oh dear. That could have been worse. The other ones, though, are like on the other side of everything. So making our way over there is going to be fun. Well, these guys killed our buddy and eventually now they've come to kill us. Perfect. Eventually, I'll, I'll remember to use this. Eventually, I'll, I'll use it, I swear. Uh, apparently, that's just not... It's just not on my mind right now. But it would be very useful anytime we have multiple enemies to pull. Or to deal with, rather. We have the, uh, the scout here we need to, uh, talk to. He looks dead, so that guy will be pretty happy. Mm-hmm. Doesn't get much deader than this. Strangely, the Nerubians did not devour the corpse. After casual, a careful examination, you see that Luther's death was self-inflicted. Deadly poison. Smart. Nerubians won't come near this toxic corpse. You notice that Luther is holding a journal. You skim through the pages of the book, looking for anything of importance. On the last page, you discover what appears to be a frantic scribbling. Necrolords. At least a dozen by my count. Farms to the west being used as some sort of horrible spawning glade for Scourge. Row upon row of victims, I think they're onto me, made a dash for the hold, I won't be captured alive. Dread Venom Hematoxin, if they decide to bite into me, they'll be in for a surprise. Take this information back to Barthus. We gotcha, buddy. Speak, friend. That'll stop him. At least I think it'll stop him. Either way, you've done your part. That's all an orc can ask for. 50 strength, 46 stam. 
no defense rating, but has crit strike. Go forth to victory. Let's go with it. What now? Is he dead? Barthas slips to the last page of the journal and begins reading. This is very bad news. Hellscream must be notified at once. Take this to Hellscream at once. In the meantime, I'm going to send a team to scout the farms. Yeah, he's probably not going to be very happy, is he? He's probably going to take it out on us. What is the meaning of this interruption? Do you not do not burden me with this nonsense? Hellscream reads the journal entry. Is that all? Hellscream shakes his head. You may not have noticed that we're trying to win a war here, Torin. I need all available soldiers at the primary points of conflict. This means that we don't have any real soldiers to spare for these minor incursions. Hellscream pauses to think. If Barthus wants reinforcements at the farm, he shall have them. Report to Barthus' assassins at the farm west of here. Let them know that reinforcements have arrived. This guy. This guy wants to get us killed, man. <laughs> he's just, he's legitimately trying to get us killed. That's really what it seems like. Uh, we have to go up. Is this Zeppelin, like, can they actually fly us or do we have to talk to... Yeah, what do you want? Yeah, I think I want to go and uh, I want to figure out the skinning situation here. Yeah, I, I need to figure out the skinning situation and I do think I want to respec really quick. I kind of like how they let you teleport. I know it's like not as flavorful as having to wait and take the Zeppelin. But I feel like being able to teleport is good. Yeah, I think I want to respec. Um, we could go... We have this, and we have the Crystal Forge Void Axe, so we could go Fury. Titan's Grip is the last point. And we can see how that goes. I've never done a Fury build with this warrior. Um, tried it for about 10 minutes when it was still a Burning Crusade classic, and uh, didn't care for it. I, I think maybe having Titan's Grip will make the difference. To me, like, to people who dual wield are always like rogues or enhancement shaman. It always felt weird to be using one-handed weapons on the Tauren Warrior. So maybe having two two-handers will, will make me feel a little bit differently about things. The problem is... We can still only charge from battle stance. <laughs> Which makes me just want to go arms and just make things simpler for myself. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we just go arms as our leveling spec. That way we only need one good weapon at a time. We don't have to worry about two weapons. And we'll see how it goes. If we don't like it, we'll try something else. Uh, but I, I really want just a, a smooth spec for leveling. In, in theory, might be it. I'm just, I like to be able to charge in. I don't really care for stance dancing. And I'm stupid and kind of thought stance dancing was not going to be a thing anymore. Strength and honor. Uh, I wish to unlearn my talents. It's not too bad. Uh, do we have anything, any talents that we have to, like... Any abilities to learn? Let's see. We have Heroic Strike rank 10 might be a great idea to go ahead and learn that. Yeah, I mean, that could be, that could be really important. And then we need to try to maybe visit a skinning trainer and see, you know, can we actually skill up our training here in town? Or am I looking for some magical trainer that doesn't exist anywhere um, on the first area we can get to? It's uh, a little bit weird. Uh, in the meantime, let's see here. We could go. We could go this way. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. If we if we want to charge in, we have to do it from battle stance. Everything else we do as Fury is going to be done in Berserker stance. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Mm. What can I help? He's got nothing for us. This is unbelievable. With honor. 
Unbelievable. What are we looking for here? I have to go. I have to go out here. I, there's a there's a skinning trainer all the way out here. This is where we have to go. Like basically right away. Yeah. Good times. Uh, we might have to run and go do that like immediately. I really don't want to be running around uh, with things that I can skin without being able to actually get skill ups for it. So maybe we will we will do that. Uh, I do think that I'm just I'm gonna go with arms here. We're gonna go like that. We'll come down here. We'll get. Uh... See, I don't need the thing is like I don't need tactical mastery. What? I don't need tactical mastery when I'm arms. I really don't. Because I'm not going to be stance dancing like this, so... Whenever your rend ability causes damage, you're going to have a 100% chance to use overpower for 9 seconds. Is that new? I'll take it. Sweeping strikes. I hate going into the weapon skills. I, I really, really hate going into the weapon skills. Weapon skills are the thing that really bothers me about, uh, about arm spec. Just having to pick a preferred weapon. Maybe we can skip that tier. Okay, good. Here it is. Oh, no, this is while in combat. The charge ability is now usable while in combat, but the cooldown on charge is increased by 5 seconds. Following a charge, your next slam or mortal strike has an additional 25% chance to critically hit if used within 10 seconds. That seems cool, but I don't think I'm going to take it. Endless Rage. Increase melee attack speed by 5%. In addition, your rend and deep wounds abilities increase physical damage caused. Yeah. Sudden death. Your melee hit hits have a 3% chance of allowing the use of execute regardless of their health. That seems too good. Your melee critical hits enrage you. Increasing all damage by... Wow. Uh, yeah, there we go. Let's put a last point there. Increase your critical chance to get a weapon. Yeah, let's let's go cruelty. Let's go here. Let's go there. All right, that is what we're gonna do, guys. That is that is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and equip our big two-handed sword here. We're gonna save the shield and the one-hander for for tanking. And uh, yeah, let's let's get our bar straightened out here.
Okay, I, I think that's okay. I think we can we can start off with that and see how that goes. We do have the quest to turn in somewhere above us. I'm not like a hundred percent sure. Oh, we can we can take the steps back here. Yeah, we can also mount up in here, which is really really weird. It's really weird to be able to mount up in here. Uh, but they're gonna let us do it, so let's let's do it. I'm glad that while they were fortifying the defenses, they had time to build a giant statue of Garrosh. <laughs> Seems super important. Yeah, I don't... I don't know. Maybe we take the lift. We take the Garrosh leg lift, so... Let's see, he wants us to travel to the coast. Stay away from what? Greetings. Our enemies will fall. Uh, do we want to do this? Not really. I mean, Garrosh is landing. Where's Garrosh's landing? Let, let, let's do it and see where it takes us. It, it might be somewhere like relatively nearby. Oh, we're riding on a flying carpet. How cool is that? It's very cool, in case you were wondering. I didn't know we were gonna get to see Kel'Thuzad. That was really cool. I think we like. I think we quest in areas in Borean Tundra that uh, the Hor the Alliance doesn't really go into. I don't remember this area here from questing on the Alliance. All right. So what do we got? We got uh, Field Commander. Blood and no mercy for the dead. None of them had the guts to stay behind to defend our glorious tanks after Hellscream deemed the coast condemned. It's mostly quiet here, seeing as how the Scourge are forming up ranks to assault Warsong Hold. Sometimes I get a stray zombie or ghoul, but they don't last very long. Of course, there's the mist. We need the, to get these tanks back up and running. They ain't gonna fix themselves. Morbu's gonna be the one to handle that stuff. Talk to him and see what he needs. Maybe you can shut him up before he finally drives me into a berserk frenzy and I cleave him in two. Strength. Uh, maybe. Don't cleave anybody, please. Into the mist, across the mist to the north, you will find Garrosh's Landing to the south of the ruins of my old home, Pele. Both have been ransacked by an ancient force known as Skvaldir. These fearsome savages slew all of my people without mercy and drove your people inland. All that remains of the Tuscar at, of Pele are our personal effects taken as relics by the Kvaldir. While we are not a vengeful race, justice must be served. The Tuscar relics must be returned to me. Enter the mist and find them. Not even a please? Horn of the Ancient Mariner. A Cavaldir lieutenant known as Oribus directed the initial incursion against my people at Pele. He oversaw the destruction of both villages and then disappeared into the mist. In those early days, there was talk of a horn that Oribus gifted to the Cavaldir mist weavers. This horn could be used to summon him should the need arise. We need to get that horn from the Cavaldir mist weavers and call forth Oribus. If he is destroyed, these savages might retreat. Lots of stuff going on over here. I, I feel like we probably should have maybe taken care of stuff outside of here first, but here we are. Yo! 
Uh, goblin stuff. Goblin wants us to recover his pneumatic tank, Transmagig. Goblin wants us to collect ten super strong metal plates. I, could help. I don't read. I don't read Goblin quests. I read almost. I read most quests. I don't read Goblin quests. That that talent where we could have used uh, charging combat could have came in handy right there, couldn't it? Could have come in handy. I'm missing Rend. <laughs> I need to learn how to warrior. You put a bunch of points in bleed and then don't use it. My yeah, this is. These keybinds are gonna take a minute. Oh, we don't have any sword skill, do we? 314. We're we're, we're not hitting. We'll just do a little blade storm to get rid, kill this guy. Yeah, my my key bindings are not in a, in a good place. They're just not. They're not in a good place. Okay, we have lots of buttons we have to press. Lots and lots and lots of buttons we have to press. Um, this has to go here. This has to open up. That's better. Reactive stuff on one and two. Uh, sweeping strikes for if we AoE. Cleave for AoE. Okay, this this might be okay. Let's Let's try to go with this. Have to get that bleed up. Let's go ahead and eat. I hate these misty areas. I don't like the, like the telescoping that happens at the corners of the screen. It's it's a very irksome. The fogginess is fine. It's it's the narrowing in of the aperture, so to speak, that that bothers me. What, what else are we missing? We're missing interrupts, right? Do we have like a- we have like pummel, don't we? Pretty sure we have pummel. It's only usable in Berserker stands. Oh dear lord. So we don't get an interrupt as uh, as an arms warrior. We have our, our slam we could do. Once we have, like, you know, full sword skill, we'll be doing a lot better, but right now... Two-handed maces are the worst. Ooh, god, that's gonna hurt when we get a two-handed mace. Our sword skills are... not not the best. Axes is really bad. Maces is maxed out, because we had maces. Uh, one-handed swords is good. So two-handed maces and one-handed axes are gonna be our, our pain points. Everything else seems pretty decent.
Ooh, being able to do that execute, like that procced execute whenever, that, that was really nice. That felt good. Yeah, I think I'm gonna like that. I think I'm going to like that. We do need to learn first aid. Uh, we're getting, we were getting a little bit of cloth. We have only two pieces of cloth. We're not getting a lot of anything yet, obviously. Standing in the uh, ground effect, probably not the smartest idea. It also seems to have left us stuck in combat for a minute. Another reason not to do it. Alright, that is uh, all the items that we need from those guys. We have to get the pneumatic tank from over this way. Well, I was going to try to get a charge in there. That was not destined to happen.
Uh, there is a quest inside of this building. Maybe an escort, maybe something else. Let's go inside here and have a little look. Apparently we are going up to the top. Um, Escaping the mist. Follow Mutu the Younger. I, yes, this is the huge problem and wow. Uh, somebody else has started this escort quest. And because they've started it, the NPC is not here for us. And we would have to wait until they are done in order for us to do it. So we are not going to do it. The only way we're going to do it now is if we come back down here later and we happen to see the guy. Because otherwise, it's about sitting there and waiting until the NPC just magically comes back after somebody else escorts him for an unknown amount of time. Not a great way to handle escort quests. Was kind of hoping that would change in Wrath, but apparently it hasn't. Ruin, that is all they leave in their wake. They must be taught a lesson. Tuscar magic is similar to what your people call shamanism. While we serve the elements differently than you, the power that we are able to call forth is formidable. Walter waves a torch-like baton in front of you. With this Tuscar torch, I want you to return to the mist and strike at the Cavaldir vessels. You will find three of their vessels docked behind the mist at Garrosh's Landing north of here, and one docked off the shores of Palais to the south. Burn their ships in effigy for all the sea. Take the horn and travel west to Warsong Jetty. Make your way to the end of the jetty and blow the horn. The sound should ro rouse Oribus. Slay the foul beast and return to me. Time is money, friend. Here is your pneumatic tank. Here are the super strong metal plates. Uh, Goblin now wants us to speak to Grekalor, who is the guy right here. So, so. With the uh, with the current state of our transports and shipping lanes, we haven't been able to get a damn siege engine into Warsong. These tanks are all that we have left from the original expedition. Now that they're operational, you're going to use them to stomp the Scourge Offensive at the Plains of Nasim. Once you're ready, jump into one of the tanks and drive it out to the Plains of Nasim, southeast of here. Use the tank's weaponry arsenal to take out the Scourge army. If you get in a jam, the Meat Pounder will tear them up and the landmines will finish them off. If you find out, if you find any of our soldiers, grab them. One last thing, fuel tanks can be found all over the field. Okay, yeah, we will, uh, we will, we will figure that stuff out. Okay, uh, guys, I think I'm gonna take a break here. What I'm gonna do on my own is I'm gonna run all the way out here, and I'm gonna learn skinning, so that at least we have that going forward. Anything that we kill, we'll be able to skin for actual skill-ups. Because that would be really good. I'm still, like, torn a little bit about... <laughs> I'm torn a little bit. It's funny, because we're a torn. I'm a little bit torn about, uh... You know, arms versus berserking. Um, I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts. I, I might stick with arms. Arms is what I'm used to. It's it's what I'm familiar with. I like being able to charge without without stance dancing. It sounds lazy, but that's like kind of ultimately what it comes down to. I like being able to charge without stance dancing. Although if if we can if we can get tactical mastery, you know, we, we can go into Fury, we could then get tactical mastery, so at least when we stand stance, we don't lose, like, all of our, all of our rage. Oh no, this is different. Oh yeah, retain up to additional 5, and up to 15 points of rage. Yeah, we need to be able to retain that rage, because if we don't have tactical mastery, we charge in, we stand stance, we lose all of our rage. And then the charge is kind of ultimately pointless, except for getting us into range. So yeah, I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts, those of you who play Warriors, Arms, Fury, go. And we'll see what we stick with. Ultimately, we're going to learn dual spec, um, hopefully fairly soon, so we can get our tanking going. We need to get some gear before we really concern ourselves with doing a lot of tanking anyway. So that's not really a big deal at the moment. But yeah, it was fun to get on the Warrior and put his boots on the ground here in Northrend. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. I would love to hear from you. And until next time, take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back here again very soon. Bye for now.